It could be described as a breezy purist, the Volkswagen 1200 convertible. Internally, the open-top VW Beetle was given the rather dry bureaucratic designation Type 15, nicknamed the Punch Buggy. This car must have aroused more emotion than any other car in the 20th century. Cartester Christoph Bauer quotes VW's own advertising slogan for the convertible from the mid-1950s, a car for young people of every age. The first Beetle convertible rolled off coach builder Carmen's assembly line in 1949, and it kept on rolling and rolling for over 30 years until 1980. Over 330,000 units were built and sold to fresh air and sunshine fans the world over. In 1934, on commission from the Nazi-controlled German Reich Association of the Automotive Industry, Ferdinand Porsche began developing the Volkswagen. Right from the start, a convertible version was planned. Volume production only started after the Second World War. Beginning in 1949, coach builder Hepmüller turned out a total of 696 open-top Beetles. A devastating fire ended this first production run. Hepmüller's competitor, Carmen, had better luck. In just three years, it turned out 10,000 Beetle convertibles. Christoph tells us it was always the most powerful and best equipped Beetle that was taken as the basis for the convertible. And in early 1960, that was the 30 horsepower export Beetle. But VW itself wouldn't contribute to enhancing the performance. Heinrich Nordhoff, Volkswagen head at the time, gave reliability absolute priority. And so it took 36 seconds to reach 100 kilometers per hour from zero and didn't ever go much faster to top out at 112 kilometers per hour. But VW kept steadily ratcheting up the horsepower anyway, eventually doubling it from an initial 25 to the maximum 50 horsepower. The Beetle convertible kept modernizing, on the inside at least. As far as Christoph's concerned, nothing compares with the Beetle's handling. The steering is easy and direct. The boxer engine mounted on the rear axle makes for all the traction you'd need. As Porsche fans will confirm, this configuration works for way more than 30 horsepower. A brochure from back in the day describes the 1200 as uncompromisingly sporty. Be that as it may, you have to shift quickly because the engine reaches the maximum torque of 76 Newton meters at 2,000 RPMs and peak performance at 3,400 RPMs. After that, the car doesn't get any faster, only louder. Alles was danach kommt, macht den Wagen nicht schneller, nur lauter. Christoph knows there are some designs that need no improvement. Only minor touch-ups were made to the body of the Beetle convertible in the 31 years of its production. The 1200 convertible was based on the post-1958 Beetle, with a rectangular rear window and somewhat larger front and rear windows. This was VW's version of facelifting. In 1959, they replaced the door levers with fixed door handles over a push button. And in August 1960, the pop-up turn signals were upgraded. Then they blinked instead of waving. And for the next model year, the nicely practical taillights made way for those fat elephant's footlights. In 1954, the Beetle's nitro base paint was changed to synthetic resin paint. Modest tones like this gravel gray dominated the color schemes of the 1950s and 60s. The top export model shone with far more chrome than the standard models on the dashboard, for example.
Christoph notes that the well-insulated top muffled the noises of traffic, effectively making this Beetle two cars in one. So aside from the weather, acoustics can be another good reason to put the top up. For one, to shut out the rattling from the now legendary four-cylinder boxer engine. It's highly dependable and runs smoothly and free of vibrations, but with a very assertive background noise. So it might be a good idea to give the ears a break now and then. Christoph explains that in the 1960s, the powerful head of VW Heinrich Nordhoff set the course, focusing on improving details instead of making radical innovations, and he made Volkswagen Europe's top earning car maker. It may well have been this policy of holding on to the tried and tested that brought such huge success. For example, 21.5 million Beetles were built. For years, it was the world's most frequently built car and most frequently built convertible. Even at a hefty extra price, over 330,000 VW convertibles sold. A record for the time. When in 1978 Volkswagen announced it was terminating production of the Beetle convertible, it caused an uproar among fans. Even so, the last convertible rolled off the assembly line on January 10, 1980. Christoph concludes that as a classless status symbol, the Beetle convertible carried an entire genre from the pre-war era into the present. The elegant yet highly fuel-efficient open-top four-seater is still lots of fun to drive and takes part of the credit for today's ongoing convertible boom. That secures the 1200's place as a milestone of automotive history. The open-top Golf 1 was the first convertible to match the veteran Beetle. 400,000 sales made the Golf 1 another record-setting convertible for its time.